I'm Mike Pompeo, 70th U.S. Secretary of State and now Chairman of the Advisory Board of the New Center. 哈德逊研究所中国中心呈现与麦克蓬佩奥的晚间聊天，给中国人民的信息。在这个系列中，第七十任美国国务卿迈克尔·蓬佩奥直接向中国人民讲述中国共产党和美中关系。蓬佩奥解释了中国共产党如何试图用谎言来分裂美国人，这些谎言扭曲了美国的种族问题，玷污了中国人民眼中的美国。蓬佩奥反驳说，与中共对维吾尔人和藏人等少数民族实施国家支持的种族灭绝、种族主义不同，美国不是种族主义者。相反，美国对无数想来这里旅游、学习或移民的中国人来说是欢迎和有吸引力的。华裔美国人是我们自治实验不可分割的一部分。美国为其华裔美国人感到自豪，无论是土生土长的还是移民。America is the only country in the world founded on the idea that all humans are treated and created equally. America is not perfect, but as my friend South Carolina Senator Tim Scott says, original sin is never the end of the story, not in our souls and not in our nation. The real story is always redemption. We fought a civil war over slavery. Through abolition, civil rights, and women's suffrage, we've become better and stronger as a nation. Today, the United States is home to people of all races, including more than a million Chinese Americans. They contribute immeasurably to our way of life and to America's experiment in self-government. Secretary of State, I, I heard heartwarming reports from our diplomats that some of the longest waiting lines for visas anywhere in the world to come to the United States were at our consulates in China. Countless Chinese people want to visit, want to study, or even to immigrate here. I got to see again that America is special. America is good, and America does good around the world. Chinese Americans know that America is an exceptional, multiracial democracy that spans a continent. We attract more immigrants than any other country in the world, and that includes victims of the CCP's genocide in China, including Uyghurs and Tibetans. We need to teach our children that America is great, that we are not racist. And we should never give an inch. Americans call out discrimination abroad when we see it, particularly in Beijing's systemic racism in Xinjiang, Tibet, Inner Mongolia, and elsewhere. The undeniable truth, the one that CCP doesn't want you to know, is that the most anti-Chinese force in history is the CCP. It was founded on a bankrupt Marxist ideology that killed tens of millions of Chinese people, launched a cultural revolution. That destroyed thousands of years of Chinese culture, and can't admit that any of it was more than a mistake. It was a crime. I look forward to the day that the Chinese people will be able to participate in those same kinds of debates and fights for freedom that Americans have had since 1776. The Chinese people deserve far better.